is me trying to get used to the camera and I suppose speaking into the camera as well, which I do struggle with quite a lot. It's not all in my um my area of expertise I'm used to getting nah <laughs> camera see, I'm just talking rubbish. Anyway, I suppose I want you to get to know me and who I am and what I'm all about. You may have seen me on <clears throat> certain things if you follow me, I suppose like Instagram or Facebook. I'm a personal trainer and online coach, transformations, weight loss and so on. I've <clears throat> I was based in London for the past six years and I've officially moved back up to Manchester this past year, which is great. That's my hometown. <laughs> So I love you Manchester. Who is that? I suppose where it all began for some people. Um, I've always been into fitness. I've always been quite athletic. I used to do a lot of cross country running when I was younger. And I would always do my own kind of training. But when I moved down to London those six years ago was I suppose where I got introduced to certain people that um, I opened my eyes up more to training and I suppose with the science behind training, the human body, nutrition and uh, that's where my love just grew more and more. It wasn't necessarily, well I suppose in, in obviously the long run, I'd always, what I thought was, you know, I'd eaten quite well, I thought I worked out quite well and then to see that difference when I started to do things um, differently in my training and my diet, it was just incredible to see my body, the, the body changes that I had uh, through all sorts. And then it became such a mindset thing, you know, the mentality that came with it was amazing for me. I, I am probably quite an up and down person with, you know, moods. I can be really on a high. And then I can be really on a low. Um, so yeah, training for me gives me the ability to concentrate and focus. Just that moment in time what I'm doing. And then afterwards it gives me that lift and that boost. And yes, I suppose sharing out my journey has been where I've managed to inspire others. And that then has also become another passion of mine where I've then seen other people start their own journeys and already there's so many of those that I've witnessed their journeys back and they now inspire me back. I could name quite a few of them and you know in videos to come I, I will hopefully if I can mention certain people's names I'm going to do that because I think you should also go follow those people for inspiration. They're amazing. Lots of my friends too. Um, yeah they've had their own journeys and great transformations. So <clears throat> obviously then my next stage was to do my training and to be able to you know properly coach people um, and I've, I've always wanted to gain as much knowledge as possible and keep doing so even from doing the PT side then going into the nutrition side and developing that further into my advanced studies and I will continue to keep learning as much as I want to keep you know, chewing up all the information and hopefully I think it benefits me and my own clients as well. <coughs> I've still got a cold. <coughs> Another interesting fact, I've also competed as an athlete in a bikini competition. That would be the Federation, the WBFF. <coughs> I would say the WBFF to me during the first stages of my um, interest in uh, training would be one of the biggest inspirations I had. A lot of the people who had stemmed or originally come or competed in, within the WBFF, you know, you've got the likes of um, Lauren Simpson and Rachel Dillon, they're still fairly new I suppose, but there's people that go back over time as well and just massive inspirations and you will see now they're so huge on the likes of Instagram and the amount of following because other people had that same sort of inspirations themselves from them and that people like that have always been you know such big motivations for myself 
and so when it comes to competing I did that purely for myself it wasn't about you know you'll hear this all the time wasn't it? it's not about competing against others it's about competing for myself and I suppose it was I wanted to see how far I could push myself and challenge myself but also it came down to the fact that I needed that knowledge there as well I needed to go through it the everything I learn I always want to experience trial error and I also wanted to see if I could do that while still flying and commuting traveling worldwide with my job which I'm not gonna lie I'll, I'll obviously go that into that in other videos but it's not me not having a normal nine-to-five type of job proved very difficult in competing and whether or not I'll compete again is another story hold that one open but yeah the WBFF itself world beauty fitness and fashion for those that don't know just the glamour side is also for me I'm such a girly girl as much as I'm dressed always in his and gym gear you'll always see my face done my hair's not necessarily done it's always in a pineapple but when I was brought up I was brought up to always you know try and look my best and I must admit for some people they go on about oh, why are these people done it because of the gym and it's your own personal choice but for me I like to feel ready in myself because when I feel ready I'm attempting something to be ready for as well um so yeah I will always be ready throughout the day and mainly because then otherwise I don't always totally feel like a scrub because <laughs> I live in the gym whether I'm training myself or training clients so that's just a little bit extra on me so the WBFF yes I have competed as well and it was fantastic but like I said I'm going to save that I have also been lucky enough to be um sponsored as such I worked with one previous company which was First Form, you will have seen in their gym gear, so again if anyone's been following me you'll see um, over time I've worn a um, certain brand of clothing and I'll still get tell you guys to go and check them out, their quality of clothes are phenomenal, 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 did I say that right? But Verse was brilliant throughout my stages of competing and prep, as were my other sponsor, which is BPI. That's the supplement brand. You'll find them huge in the US and now practically taking over UK. If you're not already following, you need to be following. Um, so I've been very fortunate there with two different companies uh, throughout the prep and... <coughs> open up more opportunities that I still feel very very lucky for and um, also attending the body power over the weekend that I was actually competing as well that was May last year which was 2017 in the right year I don't know what year it is now what an experience and I've over my journey I suppose like including body power met I'm still very fortunate that I'd say a lot of friends that I have within the fitness industry that have come from the likes of the WBFF and people that also um, are not necessarily uh, athletes in, uh, for example, they've competed, but athletes in their own right from um, different backgrounds within the fitness industry that have had such a huge uh, impact on my own work and I've taken little bits from everyone who have, have come across and touched my journey in their own way. That's all right. That's my journey. Anyway, so yeah, I've, I've got some great friends who are really, really supportive, and I'd like to think that I am back as much as I can. Maybe not as a huge impact as them, but yeah, some of them are really, really well known in the industry and they're and rightly so they are amazing. Other inspirations. I count all the days, the days, days used to write them down on my hands. I 